You may have heard the story of Helen, a woman whose beauty launched a thousand ships and started the most famous war in history. You may have heard of that valiant struggle that took place beneath the golden walls of Troy. Ten years, the best of our lives, 10,000 men, the best the gods and dreams of glory could have fashioned. All led by my brother, Agamemnon, the mightiest of the Greeks. And Achilles, who could strike down ten warriors with one blow. You may even have heard of Paris, who they say betrayed his country and crown for love. But that is not the way it happened. Let me tell you the real story. I know. I was there. Kill him. Kill him. Before any of us knew that it was a boy. Cassandra, have you just had one of your visions? Hmm? Tell me. Ryan, come see your son. Cassandra, come see your brother Alexandros. Look, Cassandra, Cassandra. I know that you see things, and I know that people don't believe you, but I do. You, you saw that it was a baby boy, right? Hmm? No, no, no. What else did you see? What else? If he lives, Troy will burn. Take my son to the mountain. No! Throw him from no. the highest peak. No! Do it now! Foul prophet, jealous of your your beauty? Never mind. With me you shall be loved and honored, and I shall name you Paris. Stupid. 
Steve us. Beauty is all. All is beauty. Victory goes to the strong. Gold rules men. Wealth is power. Paris must choose. You must judge who of us is fairest. Who are you? Choose me, Paris. I am Hera. I can give you wealth beyond your dreams. Athena brings victory and glory forever. Look into its face, Paris. See what Aphrodite gives. The most beautiful woman in the world. Helen. Outside the city walls. Father is furious. Come on, let's get you bathed and dressed. Come on, you can't go to a wedding looking like that. that. Big one in the front. Is that Agamemnon, the one who's to marry our sister? No, that's his father, King Atreus. See that one there with the beard? That's Agamemnon. They say that one day he will rule the entire Aegean. Now come on, let's go. Who's the other one? The young one? That's his brother, Menelaus. Younger by two years. I'm not too fond of living in his brother's shadow, so I hear. Come on, let's get you dressed. But where are they from? Mycenae. Where's that? Never you mind. My king, 
This is bad timing, don't you think? Way to the challenge. Don't get me wrong, I love a challenge, but I just hate to be missing Athens in the springtime. You know how beautiful that is. If you want beauty, you'll find it right here beyond those walls. The most beautiful girl in the world is here, Sparta. She's just a child. Ripen her like grapes. I'll age you like wine. When she ages just enough, I'll taste her. You're well and fine, but not when the greatest warriors in my scene. I just have those don't, walls. Don't be such a bore. Let's have some fun. Fun? No, this is not fun. No, fishing is fun. Playing the loot is fun. Swimming in shark infested in waters is fun. Committing suicide is not fun. <laughs> Agamemnon, Prince Menelaus, we welcome you to Sparta. Great Tyndareus, made greater by his kindness. Made greater only by his most dutiful and obedient daughter. May I present the lovely Clytemnestra? Clytemnestra, I hereby claim you as my wife. And who is this? My youngest, still a child, an untamed and disrespectful child, I might add. Her name, my lord? She is Helen. Helen. Father, I will take her to her room. Uh, yes, indeed you shall. As punishment for her disrespect, she will miss the wedding feast. Father-in-law, I see my bride is distressed. You're quite right. Clytemnestra's little sister is but a child. A child who meant no harm. Why not invite her to join her? Well, that sounds fair. I would be honored to be Helen's escort, should the king's legendary kindness permit. Oh, Pollux, see that she's properly dressed. Yes, father. Do you like it? So much trouble. What's all the big fuss about? Don't you understand anything about anything? You're not a little girl. You're. You're almost a woman. What are you doing? I don't know such things. You are. Listen. Listen to me. Get off for a second. Listen. No, I won't. Tell her. Helen, I love you more than life. I know it's hard to accept, but someday, soon, you will marry. I already know who to. You do? I saw him. Where? In the water. You'll marry a fish. Shepherd. Oh, that's likely. Helen! I will. I will, Willet. I had a vision, I saw his face, and... And what? He saw mine. On Monday, he'll find me. I know it. I, d I just... I know it. <laughs> Good. Good. But meanwhile, you must be ready for kings and princes to seek your hand. Why? Your beauty, your spirit, it makes men weak. Uh. You have no idea what madness lies in men. All men, every one. Even you.
this beef. my friend. So you get the girl and I get the horse. Well, I'll just have to find myself another stunningly beautiful princess. Persephone, perhaps. What's your sweet on pomegranates, I heard? I hate pomegranates. Farewell, my friend. May the gods be kind. Who are you? Theseus, king of Athens. You don't look like a king. You better get used to me. I'm going to marry you. I think you've got me confused with my sister. I'm not the daughter of Tyndarius who does what anybody says. Well, you're not the daughter of Tyndarius at all. Of course I am. You think my mother found me under a cabbage leaf? Some say that. I don't. You're Queen Leda's daughter, all right. There's no mistake in that face. I'm my father's daughter, too. <laughs> You'd have to be. That's the way it works. Tyndarius is my father. They never told you anything at all, did they? Told me what? What do you think happened to your mother? She died. Why? Because of me. I made her sick. How? Oh. You know? Tyndarius told you you killed your mother. He didn't have to say it. He can't look at me. Your mother took her own life, Helen. She leapt from the west wall of the palace. No. <laughs> you lie. Why would she? She was raped. Because she was beautiful. Don't rape children, or are you a woman? No, no, no. Well, when you are, we'll be good friends. But we'll be fine. You can't take away our best stock. You should be honored. Honored that ah. you steal away our livelihood. You'll be compensated. Fairly. Fairly compensated. Compensation doesn't fill our cows with seed. Compensation doesn't give us meat. Hey, they're taking your food. That's the property of the king of Troy. No, he's not. He's mine. I raised him. Hold it. Leave him. Leave him. Leave my son alone. Any other objections?
He will be the grand prize in King Fran's games. If you wish to negotiate with the winner, you'll find him there. the truth about my mother. I need to know, please. When it happened, Tenderis was away in Egypt. And when she began to show a couple of months later, they'd be gone for half a year. So the kingdom watched her belly swell, month after month. And she was disgraced. She had no husband beside her. And she waited till she had you, and then... Had me. It was me. I don't know. They're wolves! Do I look like her? Well, you're younger. And dirtier. But when you grow up, if you grow up, you don't make me wring your neck. It'll be even more breathtaking. Who was it? Who did it? Tell me who. Helen, you're the daughter of the greatest god. Zeus is your father. That's why your beauty will never be matched. That's why no man will ever resist it. You resisted me. Wow. <laughs> well, not without great effort. Let me be your friend. I think you could do with one. I must always know the truth. Troy, I'll get our ball back. Troy is no place for people like us. I'm going. No, they'll hurt you. If these ribs aren't broken, they will be with one more blow. They can't treat us like that. Like we're nothing. I'll bring back what's ours. There's no point. There is. When I win it. And so Paris came to Troy. It was the richest city in the world. Into it poured silks from Asia, spices from Arabia, rare woods from Africa.
from its strategic harbor. With its massive walls, Troy controlled all trade north and south of the Aegean. And Paris would control Troy's fate more than he could know. Sign up. What's your name? Paris. Of? As in where from? Mount Ida. All right, where's your caress? Where what? Breastplate. No? What about a helmet? Any kind of armor? Boy, <laughs> fetch me some of that old armor. How about your cudgel? I could use this. Look here, lad. You can't win. But at least you have to put on a good show. Go ahead, choose one. You'll find some better than others. Why can't I win? No one ever beats Prince Hector. Leave your knife on the rack. Hey, Shepard boy! The hero from Mount Ida. <laughs> ah, the king's thief. You're on, Shepard. With your friend. Go, 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 go. Paris of Mount Ida meets Presbyterian, commander of the guard.
Need better armor. This old Hittite stuff is junk. Is it bad? Just nothing. Old wound. Shouldn't be fighting. I have to. Oh, really? Why is that? I don't like thieves sent by kings to steal my livestock for their games and amusement. The bull? My bull. Ah. Uh. <laughs> my father's games must be fair. I can't fight a wounded man. The rules are clear, my lord. You must. Paris, son. <laughs> Paris of Mount Ida will fight Damien of Argos. You're hurt. I'll be fine. Your ribs, you can't. Father, I'll be fine. <laughs> Paris, you must stop this. I've seen these crush a man's head. Paris, Paris, you must never mind what happened. We survived without our bone. Paris, you're my only child, I beg you. Come on. You raised me to be strong, to be loyal, to defend what I believe in. Paris, Mount Ida will fight hideous. I love you, Father. My only son get killed. He's not your son. Be gone, old shepherd. Wait! He's my father. No, Paris, don't. It's Princess Cassandra. Alexandros? My name is Paris. But he's only oh, a shepherd. He's baby Alexandros. If you love your family, honor Troy. You must destroy him. You don't intend to fight me. I'll fight you the way I live, not Troy's way. Do you know how to use a dagger, Shepard? Can't stop wolves with sticks. A 
can use it. Don't want your life! Does Prince Hector surrender? Does Troy surrender? The winner, Paris of Mount Ida! Paris of Mount Ida. Oh, don't look at him, Mother. Alexandros. Are you Alexandros? My name is Paris. Father, what are you doing? Get him. We have a ball. We can go home. You are home. Noble King Priam, if someone must be punished, let it be me. My son? There is no doubt, my queen. I found him on the mountain. done well. I have brought home our son. Welcome home, Prince Paris of Troy. The prophecy has been fulfilled. What prophecy? Because you live, we all must die. Mount Hymettus, honey. Best in the world. Hi, 
How do you know it's the best? Well, I suppose I don't. Well, then there's always a chance you might find something better. No. I want to love. Well, you will someday. I'm ready now. Yeah. I'm a woman. Someday, someplace, we'll find someone better. Someone worthier. And when you do, neither the gods will nor the earth's turning will, will keep you from it. That's how I feel about you. Well, Helen, this has just been a, a kind of practice. Someday you'll know the difference. You always said that we'd marry. Finally found you. You're safe now. With the death of Pollux, Tyndareus had no heir. The great kings of the Aegean were drawn to Sparta like moths to the flame. Odysseus, king of Ithaca, remembers the fallen Pollux and offers his heart to the great king Tyndareus. Achilles brings greetings from the Myrmidons, who stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of Sparta to defend the honor of Sparta and to revenge the blood of the great King Tyndareus. To die for a woman, it's hard to imagine such weakness. You cannot comment, you have not seen her. I don't need to. You afraid to try? I'm afraid of nothing. There. You shed no tears. By your actions, you have left me without love or hope, and Sparta without its future king. And you show no grief. It should have been you who died.
Is there any among you who will take this cursed woman? Is there any among you who wishes their home devastated, his country brought to ruin, his heart broken beyond repair? I leave her to you. Leave her! Tyndarius is right. She'll bring her husband more trouble than he could ever imagine. The path to her bed is strewn with ash and death. And yet is there not one man round this table who does not want her? Do you suggest that every king here draw his sword against the other? No, of course not. That would be... What uh... he wants is to find a way to have her all to himself. Isn't that right, little brother? <laughs> In truth, if we raise our swords at all, it should be together and pointed in the same direction. Toward riches in Byzantium. Or Persians. If we unite, we can conquer anything at all. Any creature, any nation. Well spoken, Agamemnon. But you control no army. Perhaps I should tell you, brothers, that as we speak, our father, the clear-eyed Atreus, lies alone speaking only with the gods. In a matter of days, they will take him, and I will return to the citadel at Mycenae. Then let us greet you now as our new High King, mighty Agamemnon of Mycenae. Agamemnon! Agamemnon! Now, can we agree to unite in time of war? What do you say, Odysseus? I have a family. I'd rather plough a field and sow it with salt than go to war. And you, Achilles? Some of us may prefer a long and quiet life at home. I, for one, would live it short. If I knew I could die with a taste of glory on my lips. You will have it short if one of us takes Helen. <laughs> and yet, perhaps this is the way that we can unite as Agamemnon wishes. Good Odysseus, the wisest of us all. And tell us, O oh wise one, what do you propose? Two things. First, we swear an oath. What sort of oath? Whoever takes Helen can trust that we will defend that man's sole right to her with our lives. The rest must be content to admire her from afar. And second? We cast lots. The winner takes the bride. Never! Who? What gives you the right to agree on such a thing? The right of one man to one vote. Who in the world has ever heard of that? There is no such thing. Then we begin here. Who swears the oath? Agamemnon, as we two are the only ones who are married, how do you suggest we cast a lot? Given this noble assemblage, I would say our seals.
closest to the jar may claim his bride. have spoken. And each man here would be wise to keep his oath or face the everlasting wrath of Mount Olympus. <laughs> Your daughter is so lovely. Hmm. She reminds me of you, so long ago. Iphigenia, come, say goodnight to your aunt. Have you been bouncing? <sighs> Give your aunt a kiss. <laughs> Making a child so sweet might be reason enough to live. You have many reasons, Helen. Tomorrow you will marry my husband's brother. We'll be sisters and sisters-in-law both. Yes. They are hard men. But it is possible to love them. Paris, father asked to see you. <laughs> He's sending you to Sparta. Why? Because he wants you to take a message to the new king Menelaus, younger brother of High King Agamemnon of Mycenae. High King? Some sort of supreme ruler, is he? <laughs> That's right. And now he's talking more against Troy. Why? Because we control access to the silks and spices of Byzantium. <laughs> what? I can't believe people go to war over nutmeg. Well, they do Paris, and you'd better get used to it. Where is he now, this high king of theirs? Don't know. Agamemnon's in Sparta for the funeral of Tyndareus and the crowning of Menelaus. And when I get there, it will appear that I've been sent to drive a wedge between the brothers. Who will then kill me and put my head on a spike. And Troy will be rid of me, Cassandra will be redeemed, and you can get back to being the sole heir to the throne. Am I close? You're being a fool. Look me in the eye and say that. Look me in the eye. Brother, the gods have divined it. So be it. Such strong winds, my lord. The gods must have hurried us here. Yes, it would seem. They must favor your mission. I wouldn't count on it. Oh. 
Helen. I'm the obedient wife, but even I will tell you, he's taken this oath too far. When you were a child and father punished you, you would always come back fighting. Why aren't you fighting now? I've caused such grief and destruction. Helen, you did not ask to be kidnapped. Nor rescued, for that matter. It's not your fault. You don't know. Why do you have to do this? Menelaus commands it. I don't do it for Agamemnon. 10,000 men have sworn their lives to defend the right of Menelaus to have me. Agamemnon believes the king should see proof of my worth. How can you let them treat you like this? They can look all they want, but they'll never see me. He seeks peace, my brother. There is no peace with Troy. He bears a letter from their king. To whom is it addressed?
Do not shame me, brother. Troy seeks to align with Sparta. Sparta alone. They have sent him to drive a wedge between us. We can let nothing divide the blood of the house of Atreus, but not now. Not here. Let him remain, freely speaking, until we know enough of Troy to find a way inside its golden hall. The weight of a crown has made my little brother wise beyond my expectations. Gods to create when you're tied to yourself. And the gods torment me. How can you say that? When I'm there with them, I feel nothing. Naked in front of a hundred kings, nothing. Then tonight, when I saw you, something began to tear away my shield to expose the one thing that I cannot endure. with a Trojan, an enemy of Sparta. Do you want to be put to death? Yes, yes I do. What's happened to you? I've become visible. You're not making sense about anything. You meet some envoy and before you... No! I didn't just meet him. I've loved him for years before you even married Agamemnon. That can't be possible. It's not true, is it? What's going to happen? I heard Agamemnon and Menelaus talk of Troy. And tomorrow they will ask the envoy about his city. 
When Agamemnon has learned all he needs to know, we will return to Mycenae. And Menelaus will kill him. You did well tonight. The kings were pleased. Until the envoy arrived. Yes. Why is he here? That makes no matter. Did he come bearing tribute? There is no tribute that compares with you. You are a generous man. No, I'm a lucky man. Stealing's not a crime in Sparta. Being caught is the crime, always. There was a boy, young, no more than ten. He stole a fox and hid it under his cloak. He died while being questioned, and when they removed his cloak, they found he'd let the fox gnaw through his body rather than reveal his theft. Such boys make good soldiers. Yes, they do. We train them from the age of seven. Ours learned to tame horses from a young age. You must visit our stables whilst you're here. They're not as grand as your own, I'm sure. I've heard people say that the walls of Troy are made of gold. Is this really true? No. But they are beautiful. Perhaps one day I will see the walls of Troy for myself. <gasps> I found you! <laughs> No man can possess all that he desires. Calcos! My lord. My wife tells me that no man can claim the world. What say the gods? Olympus favors the high king who one day will rule the entire Aegean. You may bear my children. Never again will you interfere with my affairs. Is that understood? making peace. Yes, a lot. The Greeks have other ideas. What sort of ideas? Like, cut off our heads, put them on pikes, let birds eat our eyes. That sort of thing. I 
Prince Paris of Troy, my king bids you a fond good night. Your news precedes you. As the gods are my witness, I would kill that man. You can be sure of it. You brought dishonor on yourself and shame to the house of Atreus. I'll have the Trojan's head on a spike. Not without my help. Ah, yes. Well, as always, I must bear the weight of your shadow. You're a smudge on history's ledger, Menelaus, but you are my brother. And what's more, the kings of the Aegean have sworn an oath. To unite, as I recall, the oath did not place you in command of me, my army, or any other... Do not incur my rough little brother. Do not. These are my terms. You may have the Trojan. And your whore. I will take Troy. You will share no spoils. Not a scrap of broken clay, not an ingot of their basest metal. Agreed? I am your brother. Do you agree? you think the kings will unite behind you? The gods have written it. And you know for certain they favor you in this? For certain!
two months. The wind remains against us. The men grow impatient. I grow impatient, Achilles. Calchas! My lord. When will the wind blow with us? What say the gods? Speak, seer. What must I do? A terrible thing. Tell me. I command you. The goddess Artemis asks for your daughter. In trade for fair wind, Artemis demands your daughter's life. Here, on this altar. And this will satisfy the goddess. But you must hold the knife. God's demanded. Of course they do. The winds will soon be with us. now that the ship's repaired. The men have asked. I understand, I know. They have wives, families. You know, we could stay here. Just the two of us. I promise you I'll make a far better shepherd than I do a prince. My lord! Many ships! Troy, we must go now. We must go now. 
You can't give Agamemnon the excuse for war. Agamemnon wants Troy. He's always wanted Troy. That's why my father sent me to Sparta. And now, wherever this path may lead, we're on it together. Hector, the elders demand to see you. Alone. Do not harm her. I'll be all right. It is you who brings harm to Troy. Men, thank you. Go home. Sparta's wife. And you bring her here with the entire Aegean fleet on your heels. And you expect us to turn a blind eye to your wanton frolics! Father, please allow me to present my case. You have presented us with a war! That is case enough! Agamemnon presents war, not I. You sent me to Sparta to confirm it. My king. Elders of Troy. The high king of Mycenae has fastened himself to Troy as gateway to the treasures of Byzantium. The woman belongs to Sparta. Where well, she's treated worse than a Hittite whore? Forced to walk naked among Aegean kings who leer and spit obscenities. I did not take her. I saved her from a people who find no worth in women place no value on beauty, and seek their only honor through glorious death in battle. Father, do not listen. The woman brings the end of Troy. She must be returned to Sparta. Where is Helen? She's being prepared. For what? Her husband. Does Troy so fear the Aegeans it turns its face from mercy? Are the gilded walls of Ilium so weak they cannot defend kindness and compassion?
Are you all blind? The woman is a Spartan. She must leave here. She must go. She will kill us all. Good king. Your daughter speaks the truth. I have no right to be here. I wish to return to my husband. Odysseus, king of Ithaca. Troy welcomes you. Great King Priam, we are honored to stand before you. We know you to be just and wise, and therefore will see reason to return to Sparta what belongs to Sparta. For what purpose? Purpose. You ask us to return to Sparta uh, that which belongs to Sparta. Is this your property, your chattel, or your evening's amusement? Will you insult me? I demand you return my wife. Bold king of Sparta, I ask the question again, for what purpose? Because she is mine. Because she is my wife. It is a simple question. And I will make it painfully simple, if only for your benefit. You will return Helen to me or the combined armies of the Aegean will sack your city and raise it to the ground. Uh, good King Priam, if I may speak on the matter. A man loses his wife to another. Perhaps she's stolen, perhaps she goes of her own free will. It makes no difference. That man is so consumed with grief and passion he becomes rash, even senseless at times. It would be the same for any man here, the farmer in the field, the merchant in the street, even a king. King Menelaus pleads with you to return his wife. For what purpose, you ask? For the only purpose can account for such fervor. Love. Only that. King Odysseus, you have spoken well and wisely. You shall have our answer before sunrise. Asked to be returned. Is that what you want? It is my duty. I have two questions. Do you love my son? With all my heart. If I send you back, will it stop this war? Why 
not. I know him. Nonetheless. The other. Bring me Achilles. The main fleet lands here. Agamemnon and I here. We scale the cliffs to a plain that leads to the marketplace below the city. Up a staircase, through an arch in front of the city gates. The moment we attack, the merchants will retreat to the city. And the weakness of compassion will keep the gates open. Menelaus, take the beach. We will pass through the market in disguise. A short life full of glory. Isn't that what you wished? May the gods smile on our destiny. I agree with the elders. You have no doubt that the High King of Mycenae comes to Troy for the purpose of making war. We are also aware of speculation that he has sacrificed his daughter Iphigenia for the purpose of securing a favorable wind. This is not the conduct of a man of peace. We also agree that to sacrifice your honor or even your life will not appease his desire or make peace more likely. For these reasons, we invite you to consider this city to be your home for as long as you shall live. Furthermore, should you choose to renounce any further affiliation with Sparta, you shall henceforth be known as Helen of Troy. Do you accept this honor? Except.
uniting! your best men. Get 
job, my boy. Thank you, Father. I owe you my life. We are blood. What say you now, sister? Will Troy still burn? Don't ask a question if you don't want an answer. Well, Cassandra, is there an answer? city is filled with sorrow, our streets flooded with tears, until there will not be one of us with food to eat, water to drink, or air to breathe! Cassandra! Enough! The war will not be over until the curse is lifted. You all know it. Why can you not understand? Why do you not believe? Because, child, we must not believe you. We cannot believe you. Paris must die. Stop her, father! I cannot stop. I will not stop until you listen! Father, please, you don't know what you say. I say the truth, only the truth, but none of you have seen what I see. She's mad. Enough! This family, this city speaks with one voice. There will be no dissent. Guard! To get away, put her in a dungeon. A creature will come. A creature that eats men. He will eat you, Father. And you. And you. And you. He will eat all of you. You all will die. And so ten years pass beneath the walls of Troy. At home, our own cities crumbled into ruin. The men had lost all their dreams. They'd forgotten what their own wives looked like. But I could not forget. And Agamemnon would not forget. And so we stayed. And stayed. Well, I'm glad that there is laughter in here. Really. There is none outside, in the camp. The men want to go home. Menelaus is right. My wife has suitors breaking down the door. Her weaving ruse will only last so long. <laughs> <laughs> and ten years is too long. We must finish this war. I'll go home. So we shall? So we shall what? Fight? Or retreat? Both. When the outcome of Troy is determined, I wish to know it.
What? A message. Agamemnon proposes peace. At what price? This war has gone on too long. I propose we negotiate an end to it. On what terms? Paris fights Menelaus, single combat. Whoever wins claims Helen. Helen belongs to Troy. No matter who wins, we will leave. If you speak for Menelaus, it's you I should fight. My brother? I challenge you, Paris. To the death. For my wife! For my honor. Your weapon? Javelin. I accept. belong to Atreus. It's he you avenge today. Can you envision a future where some feckless Trojan leaps up onto the tomb of the great Menelaus and proudly recounts this day? Can you see that day, my brother? Can you even imagine it?
avenge the house of Atreus! Die, Trojan. Die! Must be on your side. I could have told you that. I know the substance. How long have I got? The Thracians use it to hunt monkeys. It's not lethal, just unfair. Do you, do you honestly believe that you deserve her more than I do? Yes. Yes, I do. We took an oath. I am ashamed the way we, the way I treated her. Somehow, I feel you're not much like your brother. Something you might have noticed in Sparta before you abused my hospitality. Before you had me killed, you mean? I might have let you go. Probably not. Is she well? Has she ever... Has she spoken of me? Now I must ask you something. Agamemnon wants Troy. Not Helen. Yes. Then why are we trying to kill each other? His amusement. Have you ever thought someday you should defy him? Can you walk? You're alive! 
misunderstanding. Again tomorrow. No. We will settle this today. I will take the place of my brother. That's it. I challenge you, High King Agamemnon. But this time, without poison. You do not stand for me. I cannot allow you to fight for me. I stand for Troy. I fight for my country! Not my firstborn. Hector, it is for me to end it with Agamemnon. It is my path to follow. You are my mortal brother. And I am proud to share your journey. Hector, my boy! Come back within these walls, I beg you. I stand for High King Agamemnon. You had nothing but rabble for the last ten years. I'm sick of it! I thirst for royal blood. Mighty Achilles! Helen is not your fight. But do not fight for Helen. And for what? Something a Trojan could never understand. Achilles fights for his own hollow pride! He honors nothing but his own image in the glass. He hungers only for glory. If you do not feed him, he will starve. Hector, my boy, pity your mother's misery and mine. I beg you, do not hand over your glory and your own sweet life to such a brutal, war-loving dog. You throw first. You should draw lots. No. Go ahead. Take it. I'm waiting. You should have hit me when you had the chance. I don't fight that way! I do! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Thank <laughs> you.
Good day! I feed your son to my dogs. Tomorrow, they will devour your Prince Paris. One blow! Sandra? Leave me! Paris believes Aphrodite protects him. Can you see? You bring ruin to my house. Kill my family. Destroy my world. And you expect me to soothe your worries? How dare you! Yes. It wasn't a question. Then you must know why I'm here. I will do anything to save him, anything. Tell me what to do. See me. I do. Ajax dies. Odysseus is wounded, also Agamemnon. When the day's sun sets, only Menelaus will be left to lead. Paris won't die. Not today. And if I give myself up? If you surrender to Agamemnon, the Aegeans will leave. In Paris, he will live.
High King of Mycenae. I come to end this war. Just like that. I will do your bidding. My bidding. A trade. The daughter of Zeus for the body of Hector. And you think that's enough? Do you think my daughter's death was for nothing? Hmm? Is that what you think? Is that what you were saying? Can you even imagine the innocence in her eyes as she reached out for her own father? He held her in his arms, raised her up. How little love. So full of trust. As if he somehow was capable of good. And then that startled look. Can you imagine? No. Then I will tell you. There is no trade. Not you. Not Troy. Not even my own life will balance the scales. Now, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Your rage destroys worlds. It is yourself you hate.
You wouldn't believe the prophecy. You always saw the fire in Cassandra's dream as a burning love for you. My king, the Greeks have sailed. Can it be possible? Search their camp. The Aegeans are not to be trusted, nor their gifts. Archers! Burn it. Noble king, this is a day of great sadness for you. Still, we must not be rash. This, whatever it is, might be an offering or a gift to honor the great horse tamers of Troy. Yes. Hands that built this killed my sons. Oh, Johnny, man, now, up the ball. Oh, Johnny, shut her so. I know, I know, I ask her. How fain he now. But Johnny, I'll put a sacrifice you. Hey, Miss Owen, Gratis Owen, Yak your book, and the son, Norwich, me now, it's the time in the tall book. What does he say? It seems they've left him here as some kind of sacrifice. Alicia Titchi sacrificat. But you got Nario Hayar, Miss Owen, Jack, that I sit at Norwich, me now, Pedro. Eva. What about the creature they left behind? Why so big? She knew that Lanimal Warag. Dark sacrificial, Lilla Tena. An offering to their goddess Athena. At least that's a kavir. As Dark Yati Al Beltacum, or Beck Matgurus is out Dahlo. It's big to shadow our city. They say we cannot get it inside our gates. That's what they think, do they? Hmm. Hey! Say, say, Rin! Oh, you hard journey, hard journey, the club come! Dig him out.
Cassandra. Can you see what happens? I see you. Following. What am I following? <laughs> Where am I going? Where you belong. I belong with Paris. I gave myself up. It didn't save him. You gave yourself up. Tell that sweet laughter, <laughs> little Hector. Do you see them? Yes, yes, yes. I see them. Are they all right? Yes. They're all right. We are free, my friend.
Spare my queen. Bring her. My lord, this way. Clytemnestra, I told you once, never interfere. I come from Iphigenia. She's not here. I know.
War is waged by nations, but it is human beings that pay the price. For those of us that survived, we are left with a memory of shame and misery and bloodshed. In these dark times, the only thing we have left to hold on to is love, the one true gift of the gods. And it is through love that we hope and pray the gods will send us peace. Do you think I would kill you, Helen? I do not thank you for my life. I understand. I cannot love you. What will you do? I will follow. I accept. 